Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's episode, we're gonna do some tri-tip. So I'm gonna show you a very easy way to do the tri-tip. This is actually a dry brine method, okay? Stay tuned guys, you do not wanna miss this. We're gonna be cooking these tri-tips on an actual charcoal grill. This is actually a Weber Performer. I think this is probably 10, 15 years old, Perry. Yeah. So we're doing these tri-tips in a way that I don't think any of you guys have even tried it. So we're gonna do a dry brine. These tri-tips are a little different. One of the tri-tips is actually done with a garlic salt. The other one's gonna be just a straight salt, salt brine. We're gonna try the differences and see what we like the best but this is a very easy way that I like to do my tri-tips. So we'll put coals all the way on here on one side. We'll put tri-tips on each side. And then what we'll do is we'll cook them 130, 135. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to do a reverse sear. So let's get this barbecue started and show you guys how to do it. So check out this tri-tip. Uh, we got this, this is just regular uh, tri-tip from Costco. It's actually prime tri-tip. So you can see the grain is running, you know, all the way down here. And then the grain is all of a sudden running this way. So when you cut the steak, we're gonna talk about how you would cut it here and you would slice it this way. And then this piece, you would cut it this way. Same with this one, same exact story. You can tell that this one we did with just salt. Now this sat in the fridge you know, for two days, and it's actually a little bit rigid. It's actually just getting to temperature. And then this one is a little bit stickier. This is more of a garlic salt rub, okay? But we're gonna try out both of them and see which, which one tastes the best. Is I like to use a thermometer, uh, like a meat probe, okay? So meat probe, super easy. We put this unit out there with two probes, one for this one, one for that one. And we're gonna both walk up the temperature um, and then what we do is we have our transmitter and I can be anywhere and I got it in my pocket and then it alerts me of when I'm gonna be pulling the meat off, okay? So let's go ahead and, and put this in. Looking at this tri-tip, you would probably not wanna be on the thinner side, you wanna be on the fatter side. So the fattest part of the meat, which is really in this area, okay, you can see that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this tri-tip and I'm gonna get it straight and I'm gonna go right in the center. Okay, so right there, this guy, same thing, nice big fat piece right here. So I'm gonna go right in, direct center, and put it in. Cool. So now both of these are gonna be done. They'll be on the barbecue. The grill's heating up, and once it's to temperature, we're gonna put the coals out, and I'll show you guys how we lay out the tri-tips and, and get them cooking. Coals are going, okay? Coals aren't smoking that much. They're ready to go, they're fully lit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, we're gonna take our little inserts that come with the barbecue, we're gonna put one here, put one there, and then we're gonna actually dump the coals in nice and carefully. Perfect, look at that. So cool, coals are all there. Uh, we're gonna put them just a little bit more level. So keeping the coals actually in there is actually gonna make it last a lot longer with the heat. And then we're gonna take our grill, put it on. All right, tri-tips are gonna sit on this side. Cool, so let's put the tri-tips on. So this big guy, I'm gonna put this one probably right over here. Right there. Now I'm gonna put this one over here. 
just like that. So again, away from the coals, it's not gonna get burnt at all. All right, barbecue started, now it's game time. So, we're gonna put this on for about an hour, okay? Uh, temperature's gonna be monitored the whole time. I'm gonna show you guys how this looks, and after an hour, guys, I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's ready to be pulled off so that we can do the reverse here. been uh, like 25 minutes or so do yourself a favor we're not going to smoke it but we are going to put a little bit of smoking chips on there so go ahead and just toss it over here a little bit meaning okay that's going to catch on fire maybe a little bit more so once this catches fire actually want it to ignite and then we're going to go ahead and close it off Okay, that's gonna put a little bit of smoke on there. It's gonna be amazing. Can't wait. So guys, like I said, this is Patrick. Okay, Patrick's just hanging out. He's just chilling. Once this gets up to temperature, we're almost there. We're about 103 degrees. As soon as it hits 128, we're gonna take it off. Um, we're gonna do a reverse sear, and then we'll take it off, let it rest. Another pro tip. Okay, I forgot to mention you guys. We took these tri-tips out of the fridge at least an hour and a half before we cooked them. Because it's so thick that you want the center to get at least somewhat warmed up because otherwise you're gonna do all this work and it's gonna be like ice cold in the middle. So pro tip, take your tri-tips out, let them sit for at least an hour and a half. It's time to sear, okay? So look right here, we're at 131, 132. This is just where I want it. Look at the color of that. It's delicious. So it's perfectly, now mind you, it's dry brine, so it's gonna be a little stiffer. But what we do is we take the steak, we put it on the coals, and now what we're gonna be doing is a reverse sear. And we'll actually get in on that real quick. And we're gonna take a quick little peek here. Looks delicious. It's at 134 now. I'm gonna flip it over now got some great color. That's really all I want. So I want to burn it. That is almost done. All right, this is done. Tri-tip comes off. That's going to rest. Now this guy needs to be seared. I'm going to pop this one on. Juice is coming out of it. It's amazing. And to be honest, Sometimes I don't even reverse sear it. Sometimes I'm just, you know, it just happens that it's hitting its temperature. That's okay. The key is just to, you know, relax. It's all gonna taste good, especially the fact that we've actually dry brined it. So this one's looking good. It's at 137. That looks great too. Oh, so excited for this. Can't wait to show you guys how tri-tip's supposed to be cooked. So. All right, I'm good with that. Tri-tip's coming off. Both, take a look. They're like right there, same temperature. They were both at 139, this one's 140 now. Second one's 139. And you guys, we are done. Let's go ahead and let this rest and I'll show you guys how to slice it. So the tri-tip is all done. Um, what we noticed is that, I want you guys to know that this went all the way up to about 149. Okay, so now it's actually been going down and it's been going down and going down. The meat is getting cooler and cooler. So this is the time we're gonna slice it. So we're gonna pull, the, pull out the probes. Right here, right there. So we're gonna take the tri-tip. We're gonna take both of them. So we're gonna do a little taste test, okay? So we're gonna lay them out. Now they look amazing, right? They look beautiful. We got Again, you can see the grain on it. You can see all that stuff. You see that, Jack? Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so now what we should do is a little test, and we should try this probably, right? Okay, so this one right here, 
is the garlic salt that we used. So we're gonna slice it right here. Oh my goodness. Okay, check this out. Don't check. So what we're gonna do is, this is the tri-tip now. So now we're gonna slice it across the grain. Actually, I'll go like that. Okay, so that one's done. This one, same thing. We are going to find right there. Huh, interesting, looks the same, awesome. So we cooked it perfectly, and let's go ahead and slice this up. Little end piece. This one is the actual garlic salt. I'll do a couple slices. I mean, it should explain, it should be uh, self-explanatory. This is uh, extremely juicy, right? I don't think we uh, couldn't have done wrong with this. So that dry brine really got into all the meat. So it's taste test time. I do have a special guest. It's Jack, right? That's right, okay. So Jack, I want you to try different pieces and I want you to tell me what you taste and see which you like better, okay? So this one is a piece that is gonna be the garlic salt and this one is gonna be the regular salt. So go ahead and try one of them and I'll try one too. Mm. Right? Thank you. Next one. Mm. This one's kind of like more saltier on this. It's more saltier, yeah? Um, no. Are they both pretty tender? Yeah. Easy well, to eat? This one's like a less saltier. Less saltier. Okay, which one's your favorite? Garlic. Oh, the garlic. See, everyone has their own flavor. That was an excellent video. Super fun. Um, this should show you guys how to cook tri-tip. <laughs> if any of you guys need help, send me a message. I'll be happy to respond to you. Thanks for watching the video. Until next time, you guys, see you on the next episode. Thanks.